Good afternoon, dear students. Uh, today we start um, to study a new section of biology, uh, the medical ecology. And the topic of the lecture, human ecology, anthropobio ecosystem, its characteristics. Ecology of the Samara region is example of ecological situation of the region. Lecture plan. At first, definition subject and objectives of ecology environmental research methods and the next one ecosystem definition and types environmental factors and their classification anthropobio ecosystem concept characteristics the next one xenobiotics Ways of intake, mechanisms of the in action on human body. The next one, uh, decontamination of xenobiotics in the human body. In conclusion, ecology of the Samara region. The term ecology was suggested in 1966 by Ernst Haeckel. He told that ecology is a biological science that studies the relationship of animals with organic and inorganic environments. The modern definition of this term is ecology is the science studying the patterns of formation, development and sustainable functioning of biological systems of different rank in their relationship with environment conditions. The subject of ecology is biological microsystems, populations, biocenosis, ecosystems, in dynamics, time and space. Ecology is divided into physiological ecology or ecology of organisms, out ecology, which examines the patterns of interactions between organisms and the environment. The next one, ecology of populations, them ecology. It explores relationships between species in biosynosis, between populations of specific species. And another one, community ecology, sun ecology which studies the functioning of superorganisms systems at the level of biocenosis and biogeocenosis. There are following ecology objectives. The study of the structure and dynamics of biocenosis under the influence of various factors, including man-made factors. Modeling of the state of ecosystems and global biosphere processes. To predict changes in nature under the influence of human economic activity. The next one, to predict and assess possible adverse effects in the natural environment due to human activities. To improve the quality of the environment. And the next one, the development of the theory of interaction between nature and society based on the new concept that considers human society as an integral part of the biosphere. To solve these problems, environmental research methods are used. There are two groups of these methods. Fieldwork studying environmental phenomena in the natural environment, establishing the nature of the relationship between organisms, species, communities uh, with the external environment. Fieldwork includes two groups. Root, direct observation, state assessment, measurement, description, diagrams, maps, and stationary method. Long-term observation of objects, uh, measurements, uh, description. There are also uh, descriptive and experimental methods. The descriptive methods 
are registration of features of objects, objects based on the results of observation, for example, meteorological observation. The examples of experimental methods are chemical analysis of water, soil, measurement of illumination, radiation, background, determination of chemical and bacterial contamination of the environment. The second large group is laboratory research, conducted in the laboratory. Modeling, creating a model with the properties of a real object, such as the mathematical models of man-made disasters, the spread of pollutants in the atmosphere, determination of critical and lethal doses of chemical and other agents. And the next one, monitoring, periodic or continuous monitoring of the state of environmental objects and the quality of the environment, for example, qualitative and quantitative assessment of air, surface water, soil, flora, fauna and industrial effluence. It can be background, study of natural processes and natural conditions without anthropogenic influence. And monitoring can be impact, study of anthropogenic impact in particular hazardous areas. Depending on the scale of the research, monitoring is divided into global, estimates global processes, regional and local, affects small areas. So, the main functional unit in ecology is the ecosystem. What is it? Ecosystem is a complex of living organisms and components of an inanimate environment and mutually influences each other. There are following ecosystem types. Natural the cycle of matter and energy without human participation. Anthropogenic, anthropo ecosystem. Are man made able to exist only with the support of a human? The state of ecosystem is influenced by various environmental factors. They are on the screen. Abiotic. Factors of um, inanimate nature, climatic, atmospheric, soil, geographical, hydrological. The next group are biotic factors. Factors of uh, wildlife uh, mutually affecting organisms uh, or their communities, for example, phytogenic plants zoogenic animals, microbiogenic microorganisms, mycogenic uh, fungi, and etc. Anthropogenic factors. Human activity has a direct and indirect impact. For example, direct fishing, uh, deforestation, and indirect pollution of habitat, destruction of feed, land, etc. There is an anthropobio ecosystem. It is divided on agroecosystems, agricultural activities, techno ecosystems, human industrial activity, and urban ecosystems, city. At the present stage, people are forced to change natural ecosystems and even destroy them in order to meet their uh, ever increasing needs. As technology advances, in eventually polluting the environment, a person later becomes a target for xenobiotics. Symbiotics are substances of different nature foreign to the body. 
countless xenobiotics enter the living space, transforming, depositing, accumulating, the major the functions of the life support systems in various parts of the biosynthesis, including humans. So they have a generally biodegradable effect. There are many chemical substances, more than 10 million. Also during transformation process of these substances, many numbers in other harmful components are formed. The ways to intake xenobiotics in human organism are digestive tract, harmful substances in food, water, for example, respiratory tract, dust in the inhaled air, and skin, direct exposure. The damage mechanisms of xenobiotics Dependent on structural and functional organization of the living, you can see on the screen. On molecular and genetic level, the gene mutations occurs. This is a mutagenic effect. On cellular level, starts the process of oxidation of lipids of biological membranes, the cell dies. Also, the accumulation of toxic decomposition products in the cell led to change of its metabolism. This is a cytotoxic effect. On organ level, the functions of organs are violated. First of all, functions of barrier systems are damaged. But after that, uh, the functions of another organs are violated. On body level, as a result of toxic action, xenobiotics um, neutralizing systems are depleted. The body is more susceptible to infections, the action of other harmful substances, a so-called uh, visual circle is formed. When the body tries to get rid of harmful compounds, while the resources of the neutralization systems are depleted. On population species level, the change of the gene pool of the population, the deterioration of the genetic structure of the population occur. On biogeosynthetic and biosphere level, the impact of xenobiotics at all previous levels of the scale of a biogeosynosis and the result of the planet scale. So, if we have so many damage factors, we must have some systems of detoxification and adaptation systems. So, there are xenobiotics decontamination in humans. In the process of evolution, the human body has formed a multi-level system of protection, detoxification of harmful substances, which consists either in inactivation or in reducing their toxicity. However, in the process of biotransformation, metabolites can be formed which have a high toxicity effect. Degradation of water-soluble compounds, xenobiotics, occurs with the participation of enzymatic systems of cytoplasm, mitochondria, lysosome, peroxisomes. Detoxification of toxicants occurs primarily in liver tissues as well as intestines, lungs, skin, kidneys, adrenal glands, brain, gonads, placenta. Detoxification enzymes, catalase, peroxidase, enzymes of uh, microsomal oxidation, mono- and dioxygenase, uh, have been found in all these organs. 
Now, let's speak about ecology of the Samara region. It is a study example of ecological situation of different territories. But first, necessary to study the laden sources of pollution in certain territory. For example, in Samara region, there are many refiners. And the main share is made up of the oil industry. 56%. On the second position are the thermal power, 18%. Instrumentation and engineering are on the third position, 16%. And after that, black and non ferrous metallurgy, 7%. The production of building materials, 3%. Independence on ecological situation, there are four areas of Samara region and Samara. Ecologically disadvantaged areas, cities and districts, and areas with relatively favorable environmental conditions. You can see them on screen. The main ecotoxicants are formaldehyde, nitrogen oxides, phenol, lead salts, benzene. The main sources of water of Samara region are Kuibyshev and Saratov reservoirs. The quality of water is independent on pollution of water of organic and non-organic substances. So ecology of the Samara region is different in different districts. The content of lead, cadmium and copper is much higher than the normative uh, indicators in the some uh, districts of Samara. The mercury and zinc content of all soil samples didn't exceed the maximum elevable concentration and it was significantly lower than all areas of Samara. Pollution of soils with petroleum products in all areas of Samara exists the maximum um, available concentrations. The changing of ecology, the circulation of aggressive chemically active compounds their accumulation in the composition of plant and animal organisms, their deposition in soils are the causes of the development of some diseases. They are called environmentally dependent diseases. Leading morbidities in the population of the Samara region, for example, are allergic diseases, allergic rhinitis, asthma, respiratory diseases, blood and blood-forming organs diseases, and genitourinary diseases. The difficult ecological situation is a big problem for many countries, so there is a set of measures to combat environmentally dependent diseases exists. One of these measures is monitoring of state of the environment and quickly respond to the deterioration of the environmental situation in each region of the country, including our region. For example, in Samara region, as well as in another region of Russia, there is Samara region environmental passport. It contains uh, complete information about all environmental factors natural anthropogenic that affect uh, the state of the ecosystems of our region every year. Thank you for your attention.